Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook, and this is an update video to my Android charge limiter tutorial video. So I realized that some people were having trouble keeping the IFTTT app open in the background, and sometimes the phone's optimization would close that app. So in this video, I will be showing you another way that doesn't require you to have IFTTT installed on your phone. And of course, we will have to use IFTTT to integrate with our smart plug but it will not require it to be on our phone because we will be using webhooks. So anyway, let's get started. So now the first thing you will need to do is to go into the Play Store. So let's open up our Play Store. And we are going to install an app called MacroDroid. So you just search up MacroDroid and you just click install right here. So I already have it installed. So we will just need to click open. So right now, the next thing we're going to have to do is we have to move over to our computer. So let's do that right now. Okay, so right now, once you're on your computer, what you will need to do is to go to this website, ifttt.com, and we will need to create a new applet. So uh, we will need to click this if this button. And in the search services, what we will need to type in is webhooks. And you need to click that right there. And you will need to click on receive a web request. So let's call this, um, let's name this event. I'm just going to call this tech notebook tutorial. And we're going to click create trigger. So now in this then that, you'll need to click add. We need to go into search services and you will need to search for your smart plug. I'm using TP Link Casa, so I'm just going to search up TP Link. And I want it to turn off when I get the um, webhook trigger. So now it'll ask me to connect my TP-Link account. So let me do that right now. So now I have connected my TP-Link Casa account. And my smart plug has automatically popped up onto here. So now what I'll need to do is just click Create Action. And finally, we'll need to click continue and we can click finish. So now we see um, the actual applet. So now let's just go back. And what we'll need to do is to just open up a new tab. And what we'll need to type in is IFTTT webhooks. And we will need to um, search that up. And we can find this ifttt.com slash maker website. So in here, what we will need to do is just to go in and click on documentation. So right now, it gives me my API key right here. I will have to blur that out. And now, let's go back into that other page. And we will need to open this applet back up. And we will need to copy the actual event name. So we'll need to paste the event name in right here. And just copy this entire thing. And now we need to send that over to our phone in some way. Now we need to get back on our phone. And we will need to open up the MacroDroid app. So now what we'll need to do is just click add macro. So we can click that. And under triggers, what we will need to uh, go into is this battery slash power section right here. And we will need to go into battery level. We'll need to select increase slash decrease. And we will need to set this button to increase to and scroll this all the way up to the number, the percentage you want it to be. I wanted to set it to 81%. 
we can just click OK. So now under Actions, what we'll need to do is click this plus, and then we will need to hit the search bar. And in here, what we will need to type in is web. And we can see that it um, says open website slash HTTP get. So now what we will need to do is to paste in the URL that we got from IFTTT. And we will just need to check the box next to HTTP get. And you will need to click OK. Now, finally, in constraints, what we will need to do is to click this plus, go down into battery slash power, click on power connected, and make sure the radio button selected on power connected. And we can select all of these. And we are basically done creating our macro, and we will just need to name it. So let me just explain what this does. So basically what this does is once the battery hits 81%, or more specifically when it increases to 81%, it will send an HTTP GET request to this maker.ifttt.com URL, and it will only do that if the power is connected. And when we were setting up our IFTTT applet, we saw that once someone goes to this website, it will actually turn off that smart plug. So now we just need to name this macro. I will call this charger off tutorial and just save it. So now let me just show you a demo on how this works. So that's the end of this tutorial. Leave any questions you may have in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.